Today I'm here with another book haul because Value Village had a 50% off sale and your girl can never say no to Value Village's 50% off sale. So we bought some more books. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book I bought was because Riley from Riley Marie read it and gave it five stars and said it was amazing. So I saw it at the thrift store and I was like, okay. But it is An American Marriage by Taylor Jones. Honestly, no idea what it's about other than Riley liked it so my money spending habits are not the most healthy but here we are. The next book is actually not from the Value Village sale it's from my brother for Christmas he got it for me but I thought I would throw it in anyways since I'm doing a haul today but it is Maggie Steve Otter's Blue Lily Lily Blue and I'm just gonna tell you guys now I squealed when I opened this. I very recently read the Dream Thieves and absolutely loved it so I'm very excited to get to dive back into the world of the Raven Boys and all of their shenanigans. I really want to know what happens next so I'm super excited about it. And then the next book also not from the 50% off sale from one of my subscribers Amber. She very kindly gifted it off of my Amazon wish list and like it was at the perfect timing because I was going through a super rough week and then it showed up on my doorstep and I just like Thank you so much, Amber, but it is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Negan. I've just seen this on everybody's channel from the Fairy Loot box, and I just think the cover is super pretty, so I wanted to read it solely based off of that. It showed up on my doorstep, and I cried, not gonna lie. So thank you so much to Amber again. It was super sweet of you to get this off of my wish list for me. The next book I have is Magonia, and this is by Maria Tavana Headley probably saying that very wrong. I just really love this cover and I don't know that much about it other than it's a girl who is sick and then she has to take medication for this sickness and she starts seeing things and her dad tells her that's a hallucination but she doesn't believe that it's hallucinations and then she gets transported to this world Magonia and it's like that story so... I'm here for it. I think it's gonna be super like magical and whimsical and I'm super excited. The next book I bought solely based off of the author because I read one of her books and I loved it so so much. I read A Good Daughter back in 2017 I think and I absolutely loved it so much. I thought it was amazing so I've recently been buying all of her books even though I haven't read any other ones yet but it's fine. It's Fallen by Karen Slaughter and this is actually the fifth book in the Will Trent series but apparently you're able to read them out of order and still understand what's going on so we're gonna do that and we're hopefully gonna love it. I think it's just one of her like typical thriller suspense crime novels so. The next book I found was super exciting because it was on my most anticipated releases video when it came out that month and it is I See You by Claire McIntosh and it sounds really cool in my opinion. It follows this woman who is reading the newspaper one day and she sees an ad for this company but all of the women who seem to be in these ads are the victims of very violent crimes and so when she sees her face she's like what the heck is this like I didn't pose for this what is happening oh my god I'm gonna die and it's the story of that and I'm super excited about it because I'm hoping that some stabby stabby murder 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 happens. The next book I have I see all the time out at the thrift store so again it might be one of those books that like really sucks because everybody's getting rid of it but I see it all the time it caught my eye I like the colors so we bought it but it is The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld it's this like suspense novel where a child goes missing and then they hire this private investigator who's apparently very good at finding missing children and it's her trying to find this missing child I think it should be pretty good it's a pretty short one so I think it'll fly by pretty quickly so this is gonna be read super soon hopefully. The next book I found was I Found You. <laughs> that was funny. But it's by Lisa Jewell and it follows a woman who finds a man on the beach and he doesn't remember anything and so she invites him into his home to like take care of him and be like you okay friend and then she calls the police and they show up and she also realizes that her husband never returned home but when she calls the police she mentions this to them and they tell her that her husband never existed. So what? 
crazy. I know. So we're gonna read this and try to figure out what the heck is happening because from the synopsis I'm like very confused but very intrigued at the same time. And then the final book that I have is called The Pocket Wife and this is by Susan Crawford and it's about this woman who has bipolar disorder and she can't remember if she killed her best friend or not and that's like all I know going into it. I kind of want to go into it blind because I'm kind of like what is going on? So I'm excited about it. Super intrigued by it. Hopefully we like it. I haven't heard anybody talk about this book on booktube so I'm very excited to see what it's all about. Alright guys so that was my haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!